Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Crunch Choice Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm cover to you. This fried fish right here, unbelievably good. And I'm going to share the secret tip with you. I hope you are able to try this. You're just gonna love it. So first of all, I have my fish here. This is some sea bass. I'm just going to trim all the fins. It has pretty much been clean. I'm just gonna make sure that everything that needs to come off it comes off. And then I'm going to give it a thorough wash and then we'll be back here to cut it up. Before I proceed, I would like to say this is my mom's recipe or tip. Of course, she learned it elsewhere, but she came to my house to do this. It's so amazingly delicious. I came home from work and she had fried fish. I just couldn't believe how good it was. So she taught me and I am here teaching you. We're doing it pretty much together. So she wants me to cut my fish slanting it a little bit because this sea bass is a little bit on the skinny side. So she said fish like this, you know, like mackerel and everything, if you want to cut it for it to look a little bit bigger or wider, the portions would look a decent size. When you cut it and you slant it a little bit, like when you cut plantains, it lets them look like you have decent sizes and I really agree with her. It looks so much better. So I'm going to cut each one into three just like that. Place them aside and then when everything is done, we are going to go ahead and season it. Fish has been thoroughly washed at this time. For seasoning, we are going to keep it very, very simple with just salt, nothing else but salt. This is high grade fish, very good quality, absolutely delicious. You don't need to overdo seasoning on it, but of course you can put whatever you want on it. What I'm trying to show you in this video is actually the technique to fry to get it to be that crispy on the outside, but absolutely perfect and soft on the inside. So we are doing it the street style. Mama didn't want me to put anything on it. Just like how the market women and the food vendors back home would do. Very basic, just salt on it. I'm just trying to massage it in, making sure that the salt is coated on every part of my fish. I'm just going to set it aside for a while and then later on we'll fry it. No, we are not on a commercial break. This is not an interlude. I am actually going to use this piece of bread to fry my fish. Wondering how? Well, wait and see. So that is the hack I'm trying to show you. I'm going to use half of the bread because mama said with a piece that I cut was way too big. My oil is hot at this point. I'm going to put my bread in here now and let it cook for about a full minute. At this point, you have your bread being a little bit fried on the bottom. As you can see, it's golden. And I'm starting to introduce my fish in here to fry. So in this, for this hack, you don't need to add any flour to your oil or coat your fish with flour, but it is going to come out absolutely perfect. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. And of course, if it is well seasoned or good, great fish, you bet it's going to be absolutely delicious. So simple hack, but my mom said she learned this from a food vendor who was contracted to uh, help cover the cooking at a family funeral and this is how the lady fried her fish so and the chicken so she picked this up and she thought since her daughter is doing this well she would like me to show all of our kk family so help me applaud mama thank her for sharing this with all of us you are going to love love this new hack one thing with this recipe is that, or this hack is that, it pulls all the moisture. For some reason, the fish all come together. They stick together like this. But once you flip it and it's all the way fried, they just fall apart. They just pull apart from each other. They don't end up broken or anything. It's just like this. So you probably need something wider for you to be able to flip it because it's almost like you are flipping everything. That is the only hard thing with this, but your fish comes out oh so good. So I fried it for about five minutes on one side. I'm going to flip it since the bottom part is golden as you can see and gradually get every part that is not cooked to go on the bottom of my oil rather. And then just wait until everything is done to bring it out of the oil. A little tricky as you can see, but it's definitely getting there. 
I was trying to split them at this point. Mama said, no, don't split it. Once everything is fried and you bring it out of the oil, they're just going to separate on their own. So don't do this. Don't bother with that. So my fish is done now, it's beautiful, perfectly fried, golden. I have lined my colander with some paper towel just so it helps to blot some of the oil. And I'm going to bring my fish out of the oil at this point. Just look at how beautiful it is now. Fish comes out perfect, by no means soggy, so you could tell the oil was hot. So there's no way your fish is going to soak up the oil, it is just perfectly fried with no extra oil like really sitting in the fish itself. The paper towel is going to help blood whatever is on the skin as well. And look at that, just look at how beautiful, gorgeous this fish is. So I'm flipping my bread because I'm just frying two batches but mama said this piece could lay in until you fry a whole line of fish. If you are from Ghana you understand when we say a whole line or pretty much like a whole box of fish, small box of fish. You could just let this whole piece of bread stay in and you could fry everything. The bread is of course going to be very very dark brown at the end of everything but it's not going to change the color of your oil or mess up your fish. Your fish is just going to be perfect, beautiful color, crispy, absolutely amazing. I didn't have that much fish in here for my second batch, but as you can see, they've still stacked together. I'm just going to let it sit for a little while until it is perfect for me to flip and I'll do that. In the meantime, I'm getting my colander ready to transfer my other fish in when it is ready. You could tell the fish just fell apart like I told you. They just detached from each other without breaking on the sides. And I tasted that little piece. Mm, mm, mm. So good. <laughs> so I'm going to flip this now. Perfect. Look at that. This is so well fried at this point. And one other trick that you need to bear in mind if you're frying a big batch of fish, you fry the head part, the head portions last. That is if you're going to keep the head on because sometimes they still have a little bit of dark juices that come from the head portion that can change the color of your oil. So you want to do that last. So your fish, if anything, you get the good pieces, the bottom, the middle part, perfectly fried before you fry the heads. That was what mama told me. I said, chinitino, a tree cry, na bibinia, and your fish in home basa basa. So another hack or tip for you, I hope that is helpful as well. But just look at how gorgeous this is. All done, coming out of the oil, such beautiful, beautifully fried fish. You're just going to love frying your fish this way, I guarantee you. Well, I hope you are as amazed as I was when I first learned of this hack. Absolute keeper. If you ask me, I hope you're able to fry some fish this way. And come back and comment down below. Tell mama how you found it. Well, look at that gorgeousness. Right here with some banku, some hot banku. Koyeyo. I really hope you're able to try this, whether with your wache, just fried fish for some tomato stew and rice, whichever way you want to eat your fish. You are going to love this party style fried fish well a good hack like this deserves to be shared so i hope you share this to your family and friends let them also try this new method i hope they also enjoy it and hopefully they will come and join this family we need to grow even more in 2022 thank you so much for your love and support we truly appreciate you all don't forget to let mama know how this went she's here watching and she's going to be super excited to hear from you all and until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy